Well, the story of the stampede that happened at Freedom City is still making headlines in the media. And uh, the latest update on this story is that unconfirmed reports have indicated that there are more than 10 people who died in that unfortunate incident. And uh, it seems government or Uganda police do not want to reveal the exact number of people who died. But uh, social media reports have indicated that more than 10 people died in that incident. However, we don't know why government or Uganda police do not want to reveal the exact number of people who died. And uh, Daily Monitor has also published a story on this matter. And according to Daily Monitor, a father who lost a son in that incident accessed Mulago Mochari and uh, he later revealed to the newspaper that about 10 bodies were still piled together in the mortuary. Uh, yesterday, the vice president of Uganda, Jessica Alupo, was at Freedom City where this incident happened and the government has contributed 5 million to each family that lost their loved one. However, other people are questioning that we have recently lost very many people in the accidents but government has not come out to give out money to the victims. Why is it that this time around they decided to give money to the people who died in this incident? Why? So basically, a lot is still unfolding on this story and I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG.